Today I'm going to show you how to add the extension Screencastify to your Chrome browser, giving you the ability to record and capture videos of your screen along with your voice. To start out, you need to be logged into your Google account. Here you can see I'm logged in uh, using my Learning 21st account. And make sure that you're using actual Chrome instead of Internet Explorer. Under the Settings menu, you're going to go down to More Tools and choose Extensions. That's going to bring you to the Chrome Store extensions area where you can search for a particular extension. It's going to show you what I have installed on here. I'm going to click Get More Extensions and look for Screencastify. All right. We have this one here. It's the uh, one that pops up as Screen Recorder. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the plus symbol where I can add it. And you just simply click on the add buttons and anything that asks you to verify or use or add something, just click OK on it. And what you should end up with is a little icon up here in the more top corner. Uh, if you want it to access your uh, webcam to be able to like kind of insert your face in the middle of your recordings, you can do that as well. But I'm going to go ahead and skip over that. And then I'm also going to... Uh, choose Google Drive is where I want my recordings to be saved. And of course, if you don't have Google Drive or don't use it, uh, you can just save it to your regular uh, hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and grant permission. And since I'm logged into my Google account already, it's just asking uh, to connect with that account. Then I click accept. And it should then give me a message here that says it's ready to use. Now to uh, Go ahead and give it a try here. I can uh, go to a different screen here. Let's go ahead and go to just plain old Google. And use my little button up here, Screencastify. Click on that. It's going to pop up with the little menu of options. Do I want to capture just the tab, the desktop, or the camera? I'm going to do the tab because I just want to record this tab. I can adjust my microphone if I need to. Uh, I can embed the webcam if I chose that option, and I can get a little preview window. Usually I just kind of leave these blank settings. I'm going to click Start Recording, and it immediately will start recording. This one might ask for uh, access depending on what kind of privileges you have set up. Again, just click Allow. And it is recording now, and I can kind of tell I've got that little shadow of a mouse, and it will watch anything I type into here and it'll just kind of pop up and record all of those things. And I've got a little my, my little icon up here in the right corner so that when I'm ready to uh, stop my recording I simply click up there hit stop recording and now I've got my file here. All right. Uh, usually it takes a few seconds to actually save to your drive. Right now it says stored on drive. If I want to click, click on my drive, uh, I can probably pop it up and it will be either mid-process of uh, converting into a more usable format or it might be done actually at this point. I also have the option to crop out certain parts or save it to a disk. I'm going to go ahead and click on my drive and you'll see that this um, cast, you can see here, it's not yet processed so it'll give me a little bit more time to kind of come back to here and see if it's processed here in a few moments this one was you know about a 30 second video so it may take a moment or two that's it and that's all you need to do for screencast-o-matic